Hello, guy, lady. Welcome back to at your book. Okay, now continue our lesson. Yeah, page one to the book entitled "Buddhi Dead Guide to Investing." So this is a um, diagram. You know, business income, passive income, real one to real estate asset, portfolio, paper asset, and expenses. In the world of investing. There are three basic asset classes you can invest in. We already covered the idea of ordinary, earned income, passive income, and portfolio income. The big difference between the really rich and the average rich is tetrahedron I drew here. You mean building a business is an investment? I asked. Probably the best investment of all. If you want to become a rich investor, roughly 80% of very rich became rich through building a business. More people work for people who build businesses or invest in businesses than they wonder why the person who build the business is so rich. The reason is that the builder of business will always trade money for the asset. You mean the builders or owner of business values? The asset more than the money, I asked. That is part of the picture, because all an investor really does is trade time, expertise, or money for a security that they hope or intend will become an asset. So, j a r you trade money to buy an investment piece of real estate like a rental house, or pay money for a share of stock? A business owner will pay people money to build. A business asset. One of the main reasons the poor and middle class struggle is that they value money over true asset. So the poor and middle class value money, and the rich don't really value it. Is that what you saying? Partially, read that. Said read that. Always remember Graham Law. Graham Law. I replied. I never heard of Graham Law. What is that? Graham Law is an economic law that states that bad money will always try out good money. Good money or bad money? I asked, swearing, shaking my head. Let me explain," said Richard. Graham Law has been in effect since human began valuing money. Back in human time. Roman time, people used to clip silver and gold coin. Clipping coin mean that people would sell, save a little bit of the coin before handing it to someone else. So the coin began to lose value. The Roman people were not stupid and soon noticed that the coin was slighter. When the Roman people knew what would happen, they hoarded it. The coin with high silver and gold content and spend only the lighter coin. That is an example of bad money driving good money out of circulation. To combat this clipping of coin, the government began disturbing coin with reddit and cruel edges. That is why coin value had the tiny cruels on the edge. If a coin had the cruels filled down, a person knew the coin had been. Tempers with ironically, it is the government that does the most clipping of the value of the money. But that was back in Roman time. What does that law apply today? I ask. In 1965, less than 10 years ago, Graham Law began working in the United States when the government stopped producing coins with silver in them. In other words, the government began producing bad coins. Or coins without any real value to them. Immediately, people began hoarding the real silver coins and spending the debased or fake coin. In other words, people somehow intuitively know that the government money is not worth much. I stated it seemed that way, said with that, which may be why I think people save less and spend more. Unfortunately, the poor and middle class buy things. That have even less value than the money. They turn cash into trust. Meanwhile, the rich buy things like businesses, stocks, and real estate with the money. They are looking for secure, 
sexual sexuality in a time when people, when money has earned a decrease in real value. That is why I constantly say to you and mine, the rich do not work for money. If you want to be rich, you have to know the difference between good money and bad money, as said in liabilities. Good security and bad security, I added. Read that, not it. I say that the rich don't work for money because the rich are smart enough to know that money is worth less and less. If you work hard for bad money and do not know the difference between asset liability, good security, and bad securities, you may struggle financially all your life. It is truly the same that those who work the hardest and pay the least suffer the most from this constant erosion of money value. People do not the hardest work have the hardest time getting ahead due to the effect of Graham Law. Since money has ever declined in value, a financial wise person must constantly seek things that do have value and can also produce more and more the best money. If you don't do that, you fell behind financially over time rather than get ahead with that then pointed to the straight to the sketch on his legal tablet. Me, okay, example, this is me, me, I have business. So relevant to real estate asset, this is passive income and portfolio, this is paper asset. I am more secure today than your bad your dad because I work hard to acquire or the three of those basic assets or securities. Your bad your dad had chosen to work hard for job security, so what he has work hard for looks like this. Your job, okay. Your dad your dad is job, you know. So your dad don't have passive income, they want to real estate asset and portfolio income, paper asset. So this become your dad pool. Read that then cross out job security. So this is your debt, you know, job, no job, yeah, passive real estate asset and no portfolio paper. So this thing that make people become poor, you know. So when he lost his job, he found that, he found out that he had worked hard for nothing and was all he was successful. He worked himself all the way to the top of the state education system, but then he back the system, he go his job security with the state government. I feel for your dad almost as much as you do, but you can't talk, cannot talk to someone who has very set core values, is not willing to change. He is out looking for another job rather than asking himself if a job will get him what he really wants. So he clung to job security and failed asset how we failed to convert his ordinary earned income into real assets. So he could have a rich person income, be a passive income or portfolio income, I said. He should have done that, converting his paycheck into real security before taking on the system. Your dad is a brave man and highly educated but not financially well educated and that was his downfall. If he were rich, he could influence the system with complaint contribution. But since he had no money, all he could do was protest and defy the government. Protest is effective, but it takes a heck of a lot of people protesting to make any change in government. Just look at how many protesting people it, it is taking to stop this war in Vietnam. The irony is that he was protesting against the power of the rich to include government by campaign contribution. I said he saw the power that people with money have over politicians and favor the rich to receive, or the law that are passed in favor of the rich. My dad saw the, the money involved in politics and he ran, so he ran for a lieutenant governor to try to stop that financial abuse. Now it, it has for him his position in the government. He knew the law are written in favor of the read well. That is another subject on money, but not our subject today, said Richard. 
Okay, guys, lady, thank you for uh, you listening to the audio book. See you next audio, and don't forget to have subscribe in the to encourage me to make more video for you. Thank you so much.